Hi, it's just me, Miss Nana, and I wanted to give you a quick review on one of my favorite hair products. So, last year, I was up late at night and I was watching some infomercials, and an infomercial for a win came on. And then I was like, that seems like that would be a good product, but where are the sisters at? And then one sister popped up, and her hair was really nice, but I was like, I'm not going to pay that much for a little bitty tube of shampoo. Because it was like, last year, like 40 or $50 dollars for this little bitty tube of shampoo. And so I went on Sally's.com to see if I could find an alternative. And I did, because you know Sally's is good for making her own little alternative products. And I found Hair One. And they have three kinds that you can get. And I got the one for dry hair, which is an olive oil kind. And I really love this stuff. Okay, so what I do is, excuse me, I section my hair off in six sections before I take a shower. Two in the back, one on each side, one in the front, and one in the crown. And I twist them up and clamp them with some, what are they, what are those little things called? I don't know what they're called. Little clamps, anyway. <laughs> and I'll just rinse that little section out with water for about a, a minute. I'll take two pumps, go like this, massage it in really good, rinse it out. Take two pumps, massage it in, rinse it out. Take one pump, massage it in, twist it back up, and pin it back up, and do my whole hair like that. Now, the reason why I leave the last pump in there is because on the bottle, it also acts as a leave-in conditioner. So it's really good. It keeps my hair really nice and soft and it's wonderful. It's sulfate free so that's also a plus because it doesn't leave you with that like squeaky clean dryness. It leaves you with a nice fluffy feel. And I really go to town on the top because the crown of my hair is really really dry. That's my problem area. So I might do two pumps of leave-in for that section. But I'm touching my hair because I washed my hair with this last night. I blow dried it and I flat ironed it with just this on it. So I have nothing else on my hair but this hair one stuff. And it's nice and flowy. And it's wonderful. My hair is really, really soft and it stopped my hair from breaking. I was experiencing some breakage from... Cause, um, from the apogee because it's too much protein so I know I needed some moisture so I used this and it stopped the breaking and the shedding and stuff so this stuff is wonderful you gotta excuse the way I look because today is hair day so I have to go in later and silk it out but you know it's another thing but anyway like I said it's all about this hair one this cost ten dollars I got it off of sallyes.com because I didn't feel like going to the store, so I just ordered it. I bought this last year. I've had it for a little over a year now, and I'm only halfway done because I only use so little pumps. The directions say use five to seven pumps on your whole head, but when you're natural, it's hard to get all your hair, so that's why I section off and do it the way that I do it, and it's really good. And like I said, it leaves it nice and soft and bouncy. Even in its natural state, it's really soft. So co-washing co because I found co-washing didn't get my hair clean like I liked it because you know you, okay I'm going to just go with my experience I would co-wash my hair and think I did a really good job and then I'll go and once I start parting down the middle I go and I'll smell and you still smell like that funk <laughs> and I was like you know co-washing is not working for me so I would use the hair one and, and it and it did what it was supposed to do. It, it cl gently cleanses it and conditions it at the same time. It's wonderful. I will. Oh, I will say this: if you have a lot of product in your hair, like um, gel or something, don't use this because it will not get it out. I remember last year I tried to use some um, um, whatever that. Fantasy, icy gel, whatever stuff is called, and left little, those little white balls all in my head. 
And so I caught myself getting it out with the hair one. And I got out the shower thinking I, you know, I did a good job. And I look in the mirror and them little white balls are looking at me like, you thought you did something? You got, thought you got rid of us? And they were still there. So if you got a heavy product in it, it will not get it out. So you're going to need something a little stronger because that ain't it. So I suggest if you, if you ever have that problem where you have like, um, some gel in your hair, use whatever shampoo that you've been using and then follow up with the hair one and do it that way. That's just what I would suggest if you ever had a problem. So, um, I think that's all I want to say about it. Absolutely love the product. Been using it, like I said, for about a year and it's a good moisturizing, cleansing shampoo. So, I'm going to go now and finish up my hair.